everyone, this is Pedro Hernandez again, and in this short video, I'm going to walk you through on how to use functions in Python and also how to create them. Okay, first of all, a function in a programming language is a block of organized reusable code. But okay, let's make it practical. A function is no more than a translation of a mathematical formula or an equation to code to a programming language. And that's about it. Let's see how it goes. First of all, let's fire up NumPy and let's have a look of a, of a function that is already implemented in Python. Like for example, the power of a number. So the function of power you could do in your calculator of two powers three could be something like, I would say eight, right? Indeed, that's the function of power. This function is already implemented in, in Python and we don't have to create anything or import packages or whatsoever. But you can also create your own functions. Like for example, I want to create a simple equation function, just the sum of two values. How do I do this? I'm gonna make this even bigger. First of all, I need to define a function, which simply I put def, and I have to name it. I'm gonna I'm gonna name it as my sum, and you have to put the input of your function. And normally is what you would see in the right side of your formula. What are the elements you want to have? X and Y, semicolon and enter. Then you define what is the operation of your function. Well, this operation is basically the sum uh, and that's equals to X plus Y. Okay, that sounds about right. Finally, you insert this command, return. Return is basically saying, I want to have some as a result of the function. I just execute it and I will try out my function. Now Python knows that my sum function exists. That's awesome. Okay, uh, let's create the sum of four plus eight but I have to write it plus, uh, 4, 8, just like how we did it here. Here we go, it's 12. You can try out with uh, whatever, more numbers, right? Bigger numbers, doesn't matter, and it will work smoothly. That's amazing. We can get more creative. I'm gonna do now the, the formula of the triangle area. How do you do that? Well, you define again uh, triangle area. You can be uh, very um, uh, concise on how you want to write it, but also how you name your variables, right? What is your what is your input? Your input is base and height. Remember the right side, base and height. All right, semicolon, enter. So I just compute the formula. What's the area? Area, well, it's basically equals to base times height divided by two. As simple as that. Remember that in mathematics, we have to write um, these brackets so that uh, Python knows that we're gonna perform first the multiplication and then the division. Then you want to return area. That's it. Well, if it looks, if this is correct, here is my triangle area formula that Python knows already exists. And I'm just gonna calculate the area of a triangle where the base is 10 and the height is whatever, 20. So I have an area of 100 centimeters or whatever. That's awesome. Finally, I have another, another example. Um, let's convert Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit to Celsius because I never know well, how uh, uh, the, 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 the temperature on, on Fahrenheit, right? We start with definition of the, of, 
of my function and I'm just gonna call it uh, very, very concrete Fahrenheit to Celsius. And what's your input? Remember that your input are the variables that, that are unknown on the right side of the equation. Well, that's basically temperature in Fahrenheit. You can call this variable as, as you want. You do semicolon, enter, and then you calculate. Temperature Celsius, you can call this as you want, equals to what? To the input, that is temperature Fahrenheit, minus 32 divided by 1.8. Don't forget the brackets. Enter, return. What do I want in return? The calculation, right? And that's about it. Now I have my very nice Fahrenheit to Celsius just right here. And I wanna know how much degrees in Celsius are 50 Fahrenheit, because I have no clue, and that happened to be 10. Oh, how cool. Let me actually look at that. If I go to a, this very nice uh, conversion website, how much did we say? We said 50, and 50 is 10 Celsius. That's awesome. My function works just very nicely. But also this function work with arrays. So imagine that you have an array of five things, five numbers of what, whatever, right? And then you have another array of another five things. And I want to now perform my sum of those things. And it will basically do the sum of each one of the elements. If you notice here, it's basically uh, the sum of five plus nine, 14. 7 plus 7, 14. 1 plus 4, 5, and so on. The same we want to do the Fahrenheit to Celsius or whatsoever. If I say Fahrenheit to Celsius of the variable B, uh, variable Y, I'm sorry, um, this is called Fahrenheit to Celsius, here it goes. All the array that is in in the value y is being converted to Celsius. If you want more information, I share also some very nice resources in the notebook. Thank you for listening and success.